Hi everyone, welcome back to Code and Boots. So today we are going to discuss about the load balancer capability in Nginx. Okay, so uh, this is a very powerful and a useful feature in Nginx, and this is used widely used in uh, like almost every web application. Okay, so in in case of uh, some of the production web application people use different type of load balancers but this is something that is freely available and anyone can use it okay so i have used this load balancer in uh, like nginx based load balancer in multiple production use cases so let me give a background about what this load balancer is okay so let's say you have a web application so web application means it could be uh, some application maybe a mobile app or a portal so which is exposed to the public okay so so let's say you started with uh, like a small set of audience okay so use user base maybe like i mean uh, 100 okay 100 users so over a period of time you got the audience increased okay so it became 1000 okay 10000 okay lakh lakhs okay several lakhs so how will you scale your application so you the option is you can basically maybe increase the capacity of the server to larger server replaces again with a larger server so but how much you will replace like i mean you will end up in upsizing the server to like a large massive mammoth okay so but again this method method of vertical scaling the problem is uh, you will have you will need a downtime okay you will need to replace the hardware and you the old hardware become un unusable so all these kind of problems will come so the method that we follow like typically is uh, basically adding more servers okay so this will basically help you in uh, redundancy and also you will be able to use the power of all the servers so instead of just one server serving it so what we will do is we will we can add more servers okay like this and then we will keep a load balancer here okay and the load balancer will route the request to these servers depending upon the algorithm that we use for load balancing it could be round robin it could be based on the number of active connections it could be based on the weightage it could be based on maybe like i mean the ip the source request source so it could be based on some condition okay there are multiple load balancing algorithms okay so in this way this is server a this is server b this is server c this is server d so in this case in this way let's say your application your, let's say this server is capable of handling 200 users okay so this is capable of handling maybe 300 users this is capable of handling 200 users and this is capable of handling to maybe 300 users so combined you will you will be able to say you can say my system is capable of handling 1000 users so some request will go to this server some request will go to this server some request will go to the server so this request will be shared across all these servers and from the external endpoint there will be only one endpoint which is going to be the load balancer endpoint so in this way let's say if one server is down let's say d is down okay so d is down what will happen nothing will happen because maybe the performance of the system will slightly decrease because of like uh, the unavailability of one machine but still the system will continue running okay and we can easily take this machine out and maybe we can add more machines okay so we can add more machines based on our choice without any downtime that's the advantage without any downtime we can add more machines add or remove more machines and we can increase the capacity based on the need okay so you don't have to replace the existing systems i hope this the fundamental is clear for everyone so now let's go to our nginx server so i have a linux machine which already has nginx installed okay so and i don't have multiple servers with me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run two apis okay so uh, i'm going to run 
the same copy of two APIs, okay, same API, two copies of the same API and try to basically mimic something similar to two servers and a load balancer. So this will be the LB, load, LB stands for load balancer, server A, server B and a request will be hitting this guy and this guy will be routing here or here. So you can check the details of this from the Nginx website. So I'm just giving, there are so many uh, like configurations in this one like weightage, okay, so the routing, the load balancing algorithm. So there are several things, I'm just giving the high level uh, overview of this and showing a sample of this, okay. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to configure uh, two host names, okay. So we can say aliases, okay, server 01, server 02. So it is pointing to basically the local host, okay. So if anything ping comes here, it will go to basically 127.0.0.1, that is the local host. So ping server, this, this is an Ubuntu machine, okay. So you can see it is pinging the 127.0.0.1, that's a local host. Similarly, if I do server 02, it's pinging the same server, okay. So the configuration is in slash etc slash host. So in this, this was already there, I just added two more entries here. Now, I am using a simple Python program, okay. So, so people who are not familiar with Python, you can just use some other service, but it is just four or five lines. This is a sample, simple Flask API, okay. An API using Flask. So, if anything comes to slash API, it will respond something like response hello from server. So, I'm going to take a copy of this one and server okay so now if you see i have two copies of the same program one is 0 1 0 2 in the 0 2 i'm just going to make sorry i'm going to make just to basically uh, it has to be in in typical production use case it has to be the same but just for us to identify the difference between these two i'm just making sample from basically hello from server 2 okay and I am running the server, the second one in port 5002, the first one in port 5001, okay. And next is I am going to run these two in this machine using screen. So to run in background, screen hyphen R, okay. So just uh, server 01. Okay, so now this is running in server 01-5001 okay so now it is running in the background so control a plus d control a plus d will detach the screen okay now i am going to run another screen for server 2 screen space hyphen r server 02 okay so here i am going to run python 3 2 okay so here you see server 02, it's listening in server 02, 5002. So now it is equivalent to what? The setup. I have A and A is what? Running in. And B is what? Running in 5002. In this case, it's running in same machine. That is just for an example. Okay. So I'm going to hit this load balancer and then I'm expecting responses from A and B. So now let's go to nginx configuration slash nginx conf.d. So this is our already existing proxy configuration. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a different block. So upstream. Okay. So this is something that we need to add an addition. Okay. Server. Okay. So here what we need to do is server 01 so before configuring so what will happen is here i have added an upstream block so i can add n number of servers here 
so server server 01 5001 this is basically the first server this is the second server okay so and then i am basically configuring a location block location slash api i can configure this one or maybe i can even do slash and then i can do backend slash api okay so backend will resolve to so the what is this backend backend will resolve to this upstreams backend okay so i can use any name so you can configure to something else load balance endpoint or whatever okay i just used the name backend backend slash api what will happen do this backend will replace with the definition of this one so it has multiple servers behind right so one two so this will be distributed in round robin fashion so it will go to one or two like this i mean it will keep on distributing between these two servers okay so let's verify the configuration okay configuration is success so before testing the nginx what i want to test is so the the service that we have done right server 01 colon 5001 okay so this is from server 1 so this is basically testing the apis that we deployed so when i hit server 01 5001 it is calling basically giving a response similarly 5002 okay server 2 it is giving a response so now if you again let's review the configuration again so the configuration is we have a domain proxy site dot codecombooters.com running on port 80 this is not as HTTP is enabled we can enable that later but right now the focus is just to configure the load balancer so if any request comes to slash it will basically go to proxy backend okay and this backend will it has a definition here because because it has multiple servers behind okay so here 5002 5001 so in this way it will route service nginx preload okay so now let's test it okay so now let's see so what will be okay so let me this is like let me add the path so the problem is it has a default uh, thing over there so let me add a path here slash api because nginx has a default index file over there so slash api let's see what happens so let's see what is the error okay so proxy server no upstream while connecting to upstream okay so no live upstreams while connecting to this guy let's see what is going wrong yeah the problem is you see it's upstream is https backend api right now let's see i think our definition is not https it is http because our apis are running in http that's my mistake so let's make it http because in the error log you can see upstream https colon api ours was just http right now let's test it again yeah see hello from server api1 see hello from server2 because it is best basically just rotating between these two apis these two servers hello from server 2 hello from server 1 so this is just it's round robin one after the other okay so let's say i have a maintenance okay so i want to bring this server 2 down what i need to do just add the keyword down over there just validate that down thing over there let's validate the configuration nginx hyphen t it's a valid configuration now let's see see it is always giving from server 1 because server 2 is down okay so i hope this simple example is useful okay i hope you understood you all understood if you have any questions 
feel free to, to comment below this video so please subscribe to this channel if you have uh, interest in these kind of videos i will be uploading more more videos in the coming days thank you thank you very much for watching this video